What the f- Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me in this crazy adventure. You and I know exactly why you're here, and that is to find out exactly what caused this dip in the morning. My duty is to bring you the latest news and rumors every day. As always, all of my sources used in this video will be posted in the description below. And since you're down there already, leave a comment on whether or not you took advantage of this dip. I wanted to take this time to thank everybody for showing love to my previous videos, and also for subscribing. If you haven't checked them out yet, then please do so. You might be missing an important piece to your puzzle. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, as I will be doing my best to keep you guys informed with the latest news, rumors, and facts. Let's start investigating. We start off with the article published by Business Insider. CCIV rockets 20% as rumors of Lucid Motors merger fueled sustained rally. This article was published on January 25th, 2021 at 3.57 p.m. Shares of CCIV jumped some 20% on Monday and made a continued optimism for a merger with EV Lucid Motors. Lucid is in talks with the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia to create an EV factory in the country. So if you watched my last video, I did mention that there was a big connection between the factory being negotiated and CCIV hitting almost $34 during the pre-market hours. The EV manufacturer also recently completed the construction of a 590-acre production facility in Arizona. That's great news for all Lucid Motor investors. The news of Michael Klein's SBAC potentially merging with EV manufacturer Lucid to take the company public caused shares of the blank check company to jump some 167% in under three weeks. Still, CCIB has refused to either confirm or deny the reports. We do not generally comment on rumors and speculations and will not comment as to whether the company is or is not pursuing a specific business opportunity other than saying, as noted, we are always evaluating a number of potential business combinations. The company wrote in a statement on January 19th. So I do remember this article being posted because during the pre-market hours, CCIV had hit a $22 price tag. But after Market Watch and other articles who wrote about Michael Klein making the statement, we can see here in Market Watch, SPAC Churchill Capital declines comment on whether it is pursuing specific merger following unusual trading of its stock. And I remember this moment specifically because it made CCIV go from $22 all the way down to $18. And why do I remember this? Because I took advantage of that dip. A lot of people thought that this article was saying something negative, but it really wasn't. It was just Michael Klein following SEC regulations. So you can see how easily an article can make the stock price for CCIV to dramatically fluctuate. Of course, this can be said for any other stock. However, there are a lot of people who are putting a lot of money into this stock. And it's a huge rumor with a high risk and a big reward. So let's take a look at CCIV really quickly. What time did the large dip take place? So we can see here that it was between 11.03 in the morning to 11.17 in the morning. So what article made this dip happen? And made everybody think that this merger wasn't going to happen and also sell their shares. Let's do some digging. An article by Investor Place, published on January 25th, 2021, at 11.25 in the morning, stated, CCIV stock rumors of a Lucid Motors SBAC merger delay spur pullback. Possible Lucid Motors talks with an investor may be behind the delay. CCIV is in a wild ride Monday morning, following rumors that its potential special purpose acquisition company merger with Lucid Motors is facing a delay. According to these rumors, Lucid Motors is in talks with the Saudi Wealth Fund over a production facility in Jeddah. That's worth noting as the fund, formerly known as the Public Investment Fund, holds a 67% stake in Lucid Motors after its $1.3 billion investment in 2019. If this rumor is true, then it could mean a delay to the company's possible merger with CCIV. That, in turn, saw shares of CCIV stock dip this morning after a previous increase in the stock. It's also worth noting that there's been no confirmed SBAC merger agreement between Churchill Capital and Lucent Motors. Only rumors. CCIV stock was down Monday morning and has switched between gains and losses since. So this article was published at 11.25 in the morning, which means it had nothing to do with the dip. However, I did want to show you this article because it provided great information and great insight. So moving on to the next article. Seeking Alpha published a short and sweet article. CCIV shares pair gains amid speculation and lucid deal delay. This was published on January 25th, 2021 at 10.58 in the morning. So this article may have something to do with the dip this morning. Let's read. CCIV shares pair some earlier gains of a report that Lucid talks over a Saudi production facility may potentially delay merger agreement with CCIV. Lucid may want to finalize an agreement with the Saudi Wealth Fund before committing to an SPAC deal with Churchill, especially as the Wealth Fund has 67% stake in Lucid Motors, according to WCCF Tech. FD early reported that Lucid is in talks with Saudi Arabia's Wealth Fund to build an electric vehicle factory in the kingdom. 
Bloomberg reported earlier this month that Lucid is in discussion with Saudi Arabia's public investment fund to possibly build a factory near the city of Jeddah. Recall January 19th, Churchill Capital won't save Lucid Motors. SPAC deal is in the works. So this article could have potentially made the dip happen. However, there is one more article that I want to show you which was posted before this one was posted, which appears to be the culprit. WCCF Tech published this article on January 25th, 2021 at 10.21 in the morning. The article has a headline which states, Lucent Motors and the SPAC Churchill Capital Corp may have to delay their merger agreement until negotiations over a Saudi production facility conclude. So the title itself doesn't say anything too negative. It just says may have to delay their merger agreement. It doesn't state anything regarding the merger not happening. Instead, it actually confirms that the merger agreement is in the talks and that the rumor hasn't died down ever since Bloomberg posted their article on January 11, 2021, stating that Lucid Motors is in the talks with merging with CCIV. So in my opinion, this actually should give us some hope because Lucid Motors and Churchill are still negotiating. However, not a lot of people took it this way. Some investors actually panic sold almost all of their CCIV shares, causing this great dip to happen in the morning. And honestly, all it takes for people to panic sell is just to read the headline, not even the article itself. So maybe what we should do is listen to our cryptocurrency brothers and hodl hold on to your dear life let's go over this article really quickly lucid motors the manufacturer of the ultra luxury lucid air ev continues to be the center of the spac universe as investors anticipate an imminent merger with churchill capital however recent developments may force the two negotiation parties to delay their business combination announcement to wit financial reporter earlier today that lucid motors is now entering talks with the 400 billion dollars saudi wealth fund formerly known as the public investment fund okay so we know all of this we read this already no need to repeated. Let me move on to the next passage. This brings us to the crux of the matter. Churchill Capital released a press statement in which it refused to comment on the possibility of a merger with Lucid Motors. Okay, so we already know that too. However, with the planned Saudi production facility playing such an important role in determining not only the future production but also the overall liquidity position of the combined company, it stands to reason that Lucent Motors, Lucent Motors would attempt to finalize the modalities with the PIF before committing to a business combination with Churchill Capital. Crucially, this factor may serve to delay the anticipated merger letter of intent beyond the current expectations of most investors. In the long run, such a delay may allow all the parties concerned to enhance their due diligence thereby boosting confidence in the viability of an eventual merger agreement. Of course, interest in Churchill Capital remains as strong as ever. As an illustration, the stock's volume had exceeded 100,000 at the Berlin Stock Exchange earlier today. Okay, I still don't see anything negative written in this article regarding the merger not happening. However, a lot of people were scared, which I don't blame them, because this is a big risk. But if you're going to play with the big boys, then you got to take big chances. So anyway, this article could have been the culprit for the 30% dip that occurred this morning. So let this be a lesson to all of us, and make sure to read the whole article before making any sudden decisions. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me in this crazy adventure. It makes me feel like I'm not alone in this crazy ride. Once again, the sources are listed below as always. And if you did enjoy the video, then please go ahead and leave it a like. And also, don't be afraid of subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. Since I will be posting videos regarding any news, facts, or rumors that may have come up in the day as soon as I can. And as long as life doesn't get too crazy. So please guys, please don't forget to be patient as we are getting closer to finding out the truth about this merger. And also, let's not make any sudden decisions as we saw earlier today. A lot of people do take advantage of these great dips, like myself and buy shares at such a low price while other people lose the opportunity of holding their shares in the long run and losing the chance to possibly owning shares in great companies such as Lucid Motors. So please be patient and don't forget to take a chance.